Yeah, I mean, it's all it's a give and take of the good and bad. You see like 40 names on there, and you're like, oh, that's cool. People want to come by, and then you're like, I have to be here until fucking 11 40. You're like, we're gonna keep five minutes sets alive. Here. Yeah. No, no, <laughs> four. I got no, a three four. and a half. Well, you, I say guys, we do a minute. you guys run a, like an open mic that people like go to, like, because it's just what they do. Yeah, yeah it's, it's bowling the worst. League. It's definitely like half of it is bowling league, which is fine, but it's like. It's their Wednesday night thing. I've Wednesday. never seen an open mic that has people who aren't comics come every week. Yeah. That's crazy to me. Just to hang it. Just doing anything comedy yeah. related unless you're deeply dedicated to it. I'm like, what a fucking psycho, dude. You guys had that, uh, I know, like, that ninth grade girl came that one time. Has she done stand-up yet? Or is her dad you know, wisely she... steered her away from you that know, place? You know what, Jeff? I sent her a DM, and I'm still waiting <laughs> yeah. for her answer. I so thought we were I'll just getting, getting I thought we were getting walked into a to catch a predator moment. You were like, actually, we have something to ask you about. Well, dude, I was to be honest with you. Uh, Gabby, <laughs> Gabby saved us because a comedian came up to me and Cody the other night who we didn't want to talk to, and then Gabby was like, "There's a ninth grade girl here wearing makeup," and I was like, "I don't like that, Gabby. Get out of here." Yeah. And she was like, "No, no, no, protect her." I was like, "Oh no, they're." People are going to bring up Squirk way more now. I, I like really people was. coming up to you and to protect did. a girl because they're like, you're like the village Hodor, right? <laughs> like, yeah. I can Dude. hold the door. Her not saying who it was, too. It was a very where's small ho kind of a situation. <laughs> she was wearing red stripes. Yeah, it was weird. There were some comics that tried to talk to her via crowd work uh, oh. apparatus, and it was something different. But, I mean, whatever. Yeah. You get a mixed bag. It's like the there. opposite of like online anonymity. Like, yes. like you know what I mean? Like being yeah. on stage and the only one talking to be like, you look hot in that picture. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 like talking like a fucking like Indian guy DM, but like yeah. in crowd work to a girl. <laughs> Perhaps show your bobs. <laughs> You're screaming <laughs> send bobs. Send bobs <laughs> in the green room. Usually, <laughs> usually no. I hope you have a, I hope you're having a great day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Being the only one on stage and talking is funny, especially like if you didn't like it in the middle of your set, you're like, is nobody going to say anything? <laughs> what am I, I'm like a jackass up here. From now on, I'm doing crowd work and just telling girls to smile more. Yeah, true. <laughs> hey, you're at a comedy show. You should smile more. Yeah, you really should. You're prettier when you laugh at my jokes. <laughs> I'm kidding. You're still fat, but I would like you to laugh. <laughs> the fat thing grosses me out. It's sticking out of the bottom of your shirt. But you, you are. You've been laughing. Oh, Actually, the more you but... laugh, the skinnier you look to me. So keep going, hon. <laughs> this is the perfect intro because you guys look like, like you're from a dude and don'ts video of meeting the parents. Yeah. You know what I mean? Ooh. Yep. Which one's the Are new? You? Oh, yeah. John. John, definitely. Yeah, yeah absolutely. John, definitely. I'm the only thing he's starting is he looks already married. Yeah. It's just because I wore a beanie, yeah. dude. You guys it is just because you wore racism. racism. You it's look like Macaulay Culkin beanie. had a kid with the robbers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you look like Macaulay Culkin. <laughs> if we're not going to have fun, we're not going to have fun, dude. This is not Roast Master Master. You look like the seventh Culkin brothers just named Culkin Culkin. <laughs> <laughs> they just gave up. They're like, I don't fucking know. I'm, I'm Tolkien Culkin. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm the Lord of the Rings fan one. <laughs> the beanie makes me look like I've been Culkin your bathroom, too. Come on, guys. Damn, wait, no, but it's, but it's my bathroom. So oh, sorry. Jeff. It's my bathroom, actually. Angel. Troy, That's Troy, right. Not, Troy. Troy. Which uh, I love. <sighs> Again, congratulations on the house. Uh, they gotta, you gotta raise that mirror up, dude. Oh, it drives me nuts. Yeah, I'm not, a, I'm not a very. You're taller than me. I'm six foot. I'm every bit of six foot, and having to one lean down with a boot on my foot and be like, so let me make sure my hair looks good. Dude, I thought the same thing. But the problem is, is, you go in there and you go, this is randomly an easy problem to fix, but also I need to cut a new hole out. Oh yeah, put my mirror. No, in. that's all. What a waste of my fucking. Time. <laughs> I'll just bend down and go, yeah, yeah. you look like shit still. I'll Turns just hurt my posture. I got scoliosis because of a bad mirror. <laughs> Making yourself look more like the hunchback of me. <laughs> <laughs> You're just getting more and more Igor-like every time you check your appearance. Hey, what's wrong with Jeff? Bad mirror. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not fat. I'm just big bone. I'm yeah. not ugly. I'm just bad mirror. Bad mirror. <laughs> yeah, that, it does suck. That's home ownership, though. You just look at something and you're like, man, I'm definitely going to fix that. And then nine minutes later, you're like, or oh, I could just live the rest of my life life with that thing. yeah or maybe i'm what's broken yeah true yeah. <laughs> really gotta look within i knew you didn't technically finish your introduction oh no it's cool we're, we're doing a, a nice drag out one i was also going to say i love their chemistry because as soon as you said i'm every bit of six foot matt mumbled stolen valor oh, yeah. <laughs> I'd do it, yeah. Yeah. it was like a like a knee-jerk reaction he was like that's not real actually i'll tell you what i will not to... testify I've, I've how been... far are you man huh how far are you Oh, yeah, I'm definitely up towards there. You're 6'3 at this point. Uh, That's what the liberals are saying, so yeah. I'll check in with them. 
Check in November. Makes me feel better <laughs> to say that you're six foot three. Because I'm, I'm right there, dude. I truly, I was going six two for the longest time. And I said, I can't keep up this facade. I got a family to feed. So I am six one. And that's the God's honest truth. I'm six foot two on my driver's license just because I was being silly and I was testing the system. Yeah. This lady couldn't have given it a second look. I was like, <laughs> look at it. She's going to be like, really? And I just slid it across and she stamped it. And I was like, oh, now I'm just a liar. <laughs> some, lady, yeah. like, some lady like a honky ass ain't no six two. <laughs> Talking about you six two. It's like the Tinder girls who are like, don't know why it says twenty. I'm actually twenty two. You're yeah. like, I don't know why it says six foot two. I was just testing it, just a joke. Lol. Yeah, was it was. Joking. I was just being silly to myself, and now I just have a lie on my license until twenty twenty seven when it expires. Yeah, I was just being silly and put Harvard on my resume. <laughs> I think if you, I think if you can jump and touch the net of a basketball net, you can say you're six foot tall. True. Yeah, that should be your Tinder. Is like every picture is actually just a video of you slapping backboard as hard as possible. Yeah. That's how you show like that you're If you're 5'10 like, and you can fucking touch backboard, yeah. brother, you might be 6'8. You're That's you actually got. what we got that trophy for. Best dunk under six foot. Touch it back really? Yeah. <laughs> Swear to God. Is that true facts? Absolutely. Speaking of which, welcome to Big Boy Mountain, home of the world's shortest dunk contest. <laughs> Today joining us from That Rules Podcast. Love the fucking vibes from these guys. Give it up for fucking Matt Peoples and John Montag. The crowd goes wild. Yes, fellas. Thank you for having us. We're very excited. Yeah. Sorry we've been such little escape artists about coming here, but we're finally here. We're right. excited. Yeah. You gotta wrangle up twelve foot worth of podcast or bring it over here. <laughs> That's true. Twelve foot two. Dude, we are twelve foot two of podcast. <laughs> you really just added the two. I yeah. love it. <laughs> well, that's our. That's how we're gonna bill our podcast now. <laughs> we're like a we're like a good running back uh, worth of podcast. Dude. Well, they do that like in wrestling. They'll announce uh, tag teams as like combined weight, and you're like, "There's no need for that." <laughs> well, that's so true. It's so fun when it's a fat guy and a little guy. And they're like with a combined weight of six hundred and forty two pounds. Yeah, and then the one guy's a Buck twenty, and you're like, oh, that's sad. <laughs> it's like Kobe and uh, Kwame Brown. We're like, they combined for eighty three points. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, fuck, dude. dude, Jeff, for now on, when it's just me and you, can we podcast with me on your shoulders? <laughs> no. Oh, no, so wait, you want to? What was the shortest dunk contest? Sorry, we got you. Off. Oh, it's not a real thing. Yeah, we. Do, I just keep saying the trophies for different things. I think the WNBA should be a segue trophy. Right? trophy. <laughs> Make it mad when you say the conversation trophy. Do you guys agree? WNBA should be. WNBA should be six foot or eight foot rims, right? They get mad when you say that. The WNBA gets mad when you say that, dude. They're like, we don't need to lower it. Our level of basketball is still very high. I think you leave the rims where they're at. You know how they were trying to get teachers to have guns in school? Let the <laughs> WN players carry guns. <laughs> yeah. So Make I mean, it like Mario basketball, like yeah. give me turtle shells, dude. Fuck it. Whatever. They slip on a banana. They'll have a great time. <laughs> I think you gotta spice it up. I don't like the the, the rim thing. I say make him play eight, eight feet felt pretty specific. What's that like seventy percent of a man's rim? No, yeah, seventy three percent actually. Uh, we started so Stop much more. Stop all these extra are. statistics, dude. I'm all about statistics. Holy macaroni, dude! Uh, that's fucking awesome. I don't trust the numbers. To shit on WNBA and then drop a holy macaroni is so sick. <laughs> <laughs> that's how we get down and jiggly. There's just there's just one woman going. I fucking hate these guys so much. Who dude. us? Shut up at home, lady. We love you. I love that there's a lady that has continually tuned into your podcast for of at it's least of this lady. iteration of 47 episodes right yeah, yeah. we don't have and one lady right now she was like i'm done no. eight foot rims no. nah i'm out last night or we had fucking gained a subscriber right they watched the new clip gained a subscriber i was like fuck yeah i noticed it right an hour later only one other video was viewed and it was our clip about abortion with naeem Subscribers minus one. <laughs> Fuck, dude. There you go. So I was like, these guys are funny. So what are they what about? You, yeah. <laughs> that's why I think we should have more black people on the podcast. You know what I mean? I'm glad that you guys aimed I really high. That got lady. The two blackest people you <laughs> yeah, had on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> We've been billed as the third blackest podcast in South Jersey, so... Pretty sure when I wrote Roasted Matt, every joke I wrote just had to do with how pale you were. Yeah, it's yeah. like when I write for Paul Carson, I'm like, German? <laughs> yeah, there, Fuck. There is a playbook you go off of for the roast stuff, and you were heavy on the the uh, Knott's dogs and the paleness. Yeah, it well, sucks when somebody's not fat, and you're like, I gotta fucking think now for true. jokes. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, if you get no fat... Yeah, Jeff made me stand in front of him for hours like a nude model. He's just like, pale, pale. <laughs> hmm. You're just wearing a mat mask? Yeah. <laughs> Culkin, Culkin, Culkin. Culkin, fucking battle. I can't do this. <laughs> oh, yeah, by the way, I don't like the fact that Macaulay Culkin is doing well now. 
Yeah, he's doing really like well. Sad. Yeah, I don't like this. Yeah, he's doing great. He just came out with a crazy voice, and everyone was like, "Oh yeah. my god!" Oh, dude, he's married. Have you heard his voice? Song? It's no. so squeaky. Yeah, because he, he got a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, know. and know. at the press conference, everyone's like, "All right, Macaulay hasn't spoken a word to the public in decades." And he got up there, was then saying like, "It's just a pleasure to be on the walk." You're like, "What, dude? That's him? <laughs> he did this thing, and his voice stayed like that?" Yeah. That's wild. I hope nothing bad happened to him. I hope he's not trapped at like pain. I think a age. lot of bad things <laughs> happened to him. I think he he walked so Kieran could run in the uh, sexual abuse thing. About oh him, no! Like. Oh, true. Yeah, there's that whole thing coming out about the. Uh, have you guys watched any of the Nickelodeon <laughs> yeah. stuff? Yeah, like the uh, oh like the, dark. the like the Drake Bell fucking yeah. everything. Com- yeah. Campania. It's it's one of those ones I'm not dying to go see it. Yeah, I mean no, it, of course it's horrific. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> this dude got fucking arrested for like pedophilia, yeah. and then he changed his name to his name in Spanish. Yeah, changed really. His name to Drake Campania. Oh wait, Bell in Spanish. That was the nice. thing. I was That's a good move. <laughs> was that people were like, "Don't you feel bad, dude? Drake Bell was abused as a kid." I was like, "Yeah, he also abused kids." Yeah, it's it's crazy. and his first choice for a Spanish name was Taco Bell. Um, <laughs> hello, folks. But he. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, that, I thought the whole flipping the script thing in that way, like, we spent a year being like, it's very creepy that he's approaching and like, trying to engage with minors, and then this whole thing comes out, and I think he's, like, righted the ship a little bit. The whole thing's been yeah. absolutely nuts. Dude, it's so weird. I'm, I still don't know which one is Drake and which one is Josh, because I'm just oh out of that God. age range. It's hard, because if someone says Drake was the hot one, and you Google them now, you'd think it was flipped. Right, and it also <laughs> depends on what your, your taste was back then. You might have been into a thick boy. Mm. I don't know. I'm telling you right now, you really missed out, John, because I gotta say, well, Drake and Josh was, to be a show that genuinely made me laugh and had zero cursing, zero, right. mm-hmm. like, adult humor, like, pretty much all kid jokes that still made me constantly laugh, I thought was fantastic. So you're saying that Dan Schneider's a genius. I would say, <laughs> on the record saying, this is actually This guy knows how to make two things, dude. Women uncomfortable. <laughs> and toes wiggle. <laughs> and toes wiggle. Dude, I can't believe they thought they needed to get <laughs> evidence jokes. about stuff he did. Just pull up a picture of that guy, and you're like, oh, yeah, he's definitely done. She got yeah. you. He got a pool shaped like a foot. Yeah. <laughs> like, he's got yeah. baby pools like toes and the whole thing. Yo. Bro, that you, come on, dude. You're not supposed to do that. That's got to be rule number one is like, all right, just no uh, fucking pool shaped like feet. Dude, just imagine like, if, like, Young Thug got a pool shaped like one of the people he killed. <laughs> they oh, damn, court. dude. <laughs> it's just like the chalk. That would be so Is that cool shape like Delonte? <laughs> West. Yes. But no, all right, wait. This is my point I was trying to make is I didn't really know who Drake and Josh were, and then Drake just came at my heroes, the cast from Boy Meets World. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. He threw shots at the cast from Boy Meets World, and I was like, how dare you? And then it was like he threw shots at them because they were basically saying, it's okay, Danny Masterson was a rapist. And I was like, no, I can't have anything. That was yeah. awesome, My sweet baby Topanga is now, she's co-signing rape? Complicit? <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean. She's gone with Euphrates. Uh, Topanga, I still stand by you. The rest of them, even though I'm starting to look a lot like Eric Matthews as I age, uh, the rest of them can fuck off. But Topanga, I stand with you. I'll come in back. solidarity. Dude, I, you, you can't help but stand in exactly what the fly for. <laughs> he, he lowers the mask. He's got to try it. <laughs> Dude, my, my chub's at half mass. <laughs> You're gonna make me put the water bottle in front of my lap for the rest of the show. <laughs> no, freeze it out, dude. Listen, <laughs> dude, that's fire. Uh, Drake though, he, like his his character had to do a lot of like like making out and shit. You know yeah. what I mean? He was the hot one. Like you got to think there was some overzealous acting instructor who was like, "Now nah, I'm gonna show you how to pleasure a woman with your mouth." <laughs> like, yeah, this guy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Everything when you look back in retrospect, it's like. He's portraying a 15-year-old, and I'm like, why did I have to watch him make out for a while? Yeah. Your, your parents for a while. In. Yeah. Yeah, but it kind of also, there was a part of you going like, damn, dude, must be nice to just <laughs> yeah, be of basking in babes, dude. <laughs> yeah. And you're sitting over there like Josh, like doing homework. You're like, one day I'll be like Drake, though. <laughs> I think like 30% of like young boys who become actors, like, they're like, I want to be an actor. I want to go to drama school. Nah, dude, you just can't think of a better way to kiss a girl. Hundred <laughs> percent. That is hard yeah. though. That like when you're like building up to that, you're like, man, I'm right. A couple of my friends have had their first kiss, and I think I'm gonna have mine soon. That's tough because you're like, I gotta pick the right person. Dude. I gotta learn how to kiss without being a weirdo. This is pre-internet for me too. We had brothers in our neighborhood who were like one year brothers apart. And brothers and brothers. Brothers. <laughs> yeah, another yeah, one gets. Uh, lot of- yeah, dude. Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> no, we had these brothers, and they were like one year apart, and they were both like scrawny kids. And uh, people place bets on which one of them would have their first kiss. 
I can't imagine that kind of pressure. That's the sickest fucking wagering at a school possible. You think so? I think that's really gay. He's only gonna so sick. Be like, (laughs) when is one of my friends gonna kiss? I know. That's even that would be less gay. Who's the cooler twin, dude? Dude, if you're watching him talk to a girl and you're like, I got twenty on this, that's nuts, dude. I don't want to be intrigued. Everyone knows Matt can't close the deal, dude. Are you guys? Yeah, I think you just realized Matt's never kissed a girl. I never had money on the line. (laughs) Exactly. That's if you nuts. started betting on yourself, you would accomplish so much more in your oh, life. Oh, is that what I think about either. the dog betting track? <laughs> <laughs> so which one of them? Was this, was this the Gibson brothers from a uh, local stand-up? Uh, 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 yeah. Charlie no, that's very <laughs> funny. That's very funny. Uh, I won't say their real last name, but there was a neighborhood dad who refused to say their real last name. He always called them the Dingle Hoppers. Oh my god. Sounds a lot like their last name. Is that a Little Mermaid? I th- I, is it? I don't know. I'm pretty sure that's just like it a is. fork. It's, Are you uh, it's, to it's, what she, it's what she combs her hair with. As a, I, I know that because I have a three year old daughter. Why do you know that? My fiance is obsessed with Little You have a three year old daughter. <laughs> you, know you have a three year old daughter. Yeah. <laughs> Remember that night well, girl I brought up, guys? I would do anything for her. <laughs> that's actually one of the funniest things you could say. Is going up to somebody you don't know well with a kid and being like, I would die for that kid. And they're like, oh, okay. All right. Thanks. Or you're Bradley Cooper. You see him? No, what he doing? Bro, Bradley Cooper had the wildest quote ever. He was oh, on yeah. about his kid. Yeah, yeah. He was like, he's like, Listen, I mean, the first, like, couple months, maybe, the oh, first yeah. year, like, you, you know, you, like, love the kid, but, like, if somebody came in and, like, what, you know, would I protect, like, would I throw my life on the line yeah. for? I don't know. Dude, to make that life. statement, was, nobody even asked him. Nobody yeah. even asked nobody him about asked him. it. He was just walking by a reporter. He was like, yeah. by the way, I would never die for my kid. Yeah. 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 <laughs> what page of the, the playbook was that one, dude? That was fucking <laughs> yeah. brutal. That was the golden lining. He films a fucking movie. He's like, I know I never met this guy I'm playing, but I just feel like he's, like, just channeling my entire inner body and yeah. I'm becoming this person. My kid, I ah, feel no connection to it. Yeah, yeah. Who would have thought? It turns out uh, celebrities from Hollywood are all sociopaths. Who would have thought? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. they are self obsessed. Yeah. yeah, that's tough. That's but it's good. Fun. I mean, he made that statement, and then like the Nickelodeon doc dropped the next day, so he was safe. Like they're like, well, he didn't touch him. I mean, <laughs> yeah, he said he wouldn't die for him. I guess it's I, all right. I, I I hope that it's like uh, he he used to be a normal dad, but then like something about playing like. Rocket Raccoon didn't reel into it. He's just like, <laughs> yeah, he's like, dude, in the wilderness, we just let our kids go, man. He's <laughs> <laughs> like Andy Kaufman, but like, a... sometimes <laughs> when you're in the middle of a space battle, you got to choose between your family and your friends. You know, <laughs> strong will come back. That's so stupid. <laughs> you know, some animals actually fucking kill their kids. I didn't even do that. Yeah. I'm just saying I wouldn't stop it. Well, that's not even the worst one. I will say Liam Neeson still has the worst nobody asked story. Oh, Did you oh, know? Oh, oh, yeah. I think that was all the time. Nuts, dude. One of my favorite rap lines ever is uh, uh, Wish a brother would like Liam Neeson. Oh, that's so hard, bro. <laughs> Uncle so Tuffin. hard. And that's just from your album that you haven't put out yet. <laughs> That one is absolutely... That's like when you get your one uncle hammered and he just starts telling you stories. So for the listener's oh, context, oh, oh. I'll, I'll play that. Yeah. I do know the story, oh, but he, so well, it was right. He basically was like, my friend got beat up by a black guy. Let's go find a black guy. Yeah. It was like the whole thing. No, right? he was yeah. like, and then that Not the, that no, a. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 A. He yeah. said he walked around for hours just <laughs> looking for a black guy. There's not a lot in Ireland. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> we sailed across the seven seas looking for one. We had a search party. <laughs> he should have played it off on the accent. He's like, no, I meant like looking for a fight. I was looking for a black guy. <laughs> All aboard the SS Quick Twitch. We even put up a, a poster for a three-on-three basketball tournament. <laughs> Showed up. He's like, he just, it was impossible. He just said that. I will find you. <laughs> I have a certain set of skills. One of those skills is not locating a flight. <laughs> I have a fire alarm with low batteries. <laughs> Dude, that was the best possible scenario is that he just did not run into one that day. Yeah. Or else Liam Neeson would have never given us all of these action thrillers. Yeah, we would have never been, been took it. We would have been. Oh, okay, okay folks. <laughs> We've slipped a couple in here, Johnny. Give me that, dude. We talked talk the last podcast just doing the Taken movie, but from the perspective of the kidnappers, <laughs> just called Taking. And just, just rolling in and being like, yeah, honestly, it was like super fucking easy to get. Yeah. Oh my God! <laughs> Four of our guys are dead. The movie's called, wait, who's here? Her dad? Seriously? <laughs> hey, some 55 year old just came in and beat the shit out of us. It was crazy. Dude, I'm happy like TikTok exists for now as like an outlet for that shit. You know what I mean? Because like, we didn't really have an idea for a movie, <laughs> but yeah. but goddamn, do I want to see it? I know. <laughs> yeah. 
I can't wait to see when they reboot Taken and they cast Bradley Cooper in it. And they're like, we have your daughter. And he's like, which one? <laughs> the like, one that's only like one. I don't even care about oh, that one. Yeah, even, yeah, you could have her. Dude, that's the problem with being a hot Hollywood dad. <laughs> you could make more kids. Yeah. It's just not Everyone a wants your seed. Uh, so, John, come on. If, if you're going to be PG-13, tell it, say it beforehand. Oh, <laughs> this God. is a PG-13 mountain. <laughs> Where he's like, I was, I was about to scream, come, dude. Yeah. <laughs> like, Wait, do, you guys, do you guys still do the point scoring system? No. Is that out there? No, it's just you guys yeah, yeah, what's the score right now? now? Holy shit. We're tied. Dude. You guys know. <laughs> You guys have the the Miami Dolphins right now, dude. Yeah, get Score the fucks up. Miami, yeah, we we did that for a while, and then we realized that we don't have the fucking time to be editing like that. That seemed so, so much unbelievably work. difficult. I watched the episode I was on, and I was like, I can't even imagine just sitting there and having to like come up with a number, make it float, make a fun noise. Just hitting the fucking around the horn, being like the concept of being like, ooh. 900 points for you. Yeah. You're like, what's the scale? You go, shut the fuck up. <laughs> and, and you know what? Minus, you. minus 11 points. I just loved question. that idea. It and is then very, It's and then an awesome idea. Three weeks go back in. to the old episodes, <laughs> we did give people points. Jeff went in and individually graded every good joke or funny thing they said That's or whatever. Right. Gave them points for That's it, right? Sucks. And this was your idea. It was my idea. Which I was totally on board for because I had never done editing before. And I was like, uh, yeah, sure, whatever you want, dude. You want to do it? Go ahead. Yeah. Let's do it. Uh, and I took over the editing of the podcast at one point, and I was like, <laughs> why? What are you doing now? I was, I, like, 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 first off, when I edit the podcast, I don't even want to listen to it, dude. Yes, I fucking put it on fucking Charlie Chaplin mode, and yeah. fucking, like, are you kidding me, dude? Like, I'm just like, oh, that looks like a funny joke. I listen joke. to every that. second yeah. of the podcast. You make sure you slap your knee when there's a good bit, so you can see it on the video, you're like, oh, alright, right, right, right <laughs> there. Oh my God. I do actually buffer through and look for my arm to go up, because that's how I know it's a really good joke. Can you no, I listen to the podcast, but once it's up on YouTube, so I get the view. Just yeah. sitting there editing and listening to it, that's a very good move, I've been there, brother. <laughs> Yeah, are you a, are you a stat guy too? Matt will, Matt will call me in the middle of the night and be like, we lost two viewers. And I'm like, we had two viewers? That's Russ, incredible. No, like, Russ is my autistic kid. Okay, yeah. Well, like, the, the YouTube page is my baby because I swear to God, I, I pulled it out of the pits of Shadow Van Hell, dude. I swear, like, when I say this thing sat at 30 subscribers for, like, two years, and I was like, why won't the number Dude, call? Oh, like, yeah, get Shadow Van. Yeah, yeah, pump the brakes there, guys. We're assuming at <laughs> about 31, I do you, think. Do you <laughs> ever add to our watch later on the podcast like anything about nfts on the youtube no thank all right so we gotta change the password for that i was looking at our playlist and we had a watch later playlist and it was like how to mint an nft and i was like how long ago was it could have been me i have no idea when it was could have been me Uh, well i told you guys i'm bad investments i'll get into nfts right now you guys want to get our phones out and invest our our, our life's worth into NFTs the now? Only AMC, reason. NFT. Yeah, you got three letters. I'm you guys got hacked by Gary Vaynerchuk. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason something. I'm willing to consider that it was you and not like Could the be. fucking NFT hacker who took over our Instagram, right? right? Let's change the password before we leave today. But uh, man, that's a killer 2021 set. I was you just so said right there. Dude. Fucking so so. The only reason I was willing to consider it was you was it wasn't like a normal hat. Uh, like mint NFTs video, it was like how to mint. It wasn't NFTs. your run in the mill. How to mint NFTs? <laughs> no, 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 no. It was big, it was strong men looking to become six foot tall. Get <laughs> NFTs. It was how to mint NFTs without any of the equipment. <laughs> and I was like, oh, Jeff may have that Googled actually... how to do something with nothing. That sounds like you. Yeah. I love, <laughs> I love trying to figure that out. arbitrary like, yeah. life advice, but how to make something out of nothing. Like, and then, like start yo, get nobody. a job. Dude. It's oh where optimism meets autism. <laughs> yeah, don't <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is, please, by all means. I never had a dad, dude, like, like present in my life. Like, I had a dad, obviously, I'm here, but, like, I never had one present. I had so a great dad. I I'd love me a ton. <laughs> yeah. Where are you getting at? His dad is. Was that? Was, was he also your dad? <laughs> like, that's a problem. Yeah, we're we're around. trying to get Matt's dad to adopt me now that my dad's passed on to the next life. Yeah. And uh, oh. his dad did the best dad move ever. We were all out at a bar after uh, we did uh, post game, right? Okay, uh, in yeah. Philly, we're out at a bar down the street from Helium, and I wasn't drinking, but like he was buying rounds for everybody. Right. And I was like, oh, actually, I'm just gonna get food. Don't worry about it. And I ordered food, and over my shoulder, he hit the bartender with a. Yeah. And I didn't know until I was going to check oh, out. Nice. And I was like, let me go pay for that slider that I got. 
And they were like, actually, that old guy took care of it. I was like, well, well, first off, that's my dad. And he's going to teach how to yeah. throw a fastball. No, I then John missed the part where my dad top, tapped John's shoulder. was like, you owe me $40. <laughs> I, I did order that a that very expensive the burger. Story. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I do. I owe your dad. I want to sneak. I want to sneak him a meal somehow. Maybe today, since we're not too far from your childhood home, I'll go that drop be, a meal on the front porch. That might be number one gay thing you could do for an older guy is give him a meal. I think if you try to give my he dad won't a accept meal, it. No, no, they won't do it. Yeah. And I, as as an aging man, I wouldn't have accepted it if I knew. <laughs> yeah. I would have snuck money into your dad's pocket that night if I knew. By all means, no, he loves it. Well, it's like you're either treating me like I'm homeless or you're my mother. So yeah, <laughs> I do respect God, the dad. I didn't think about that. Yeah. Uh, guys. Yeah, that's gonna be so cool when we're brothers. I, I like the idea to have his dad adopt you because then you don't have to worry about Matt dating your daughter. Ooh, I wouldn't roll that out. <laughs> I'm forcing. So, what other obviously. topics do you guys still uh, do the points thing? <laughs> uh, or uh, is it? Uh, uh, I got something. New. I got something. Is. I got a good one right here. I will say my final point about the points thing because I do think it's a fucking yeah. great idea. But knowing that you sat there listening to every joke, <laughs> bro, bro. I, I can't imagine being like a lonely guy who's never had a girlfriend. Lives at home with his parents, and he's like, I must be the weirdest fucking guy. And then he finds you doing that. Yeah. And knows that you have a fiance in a house. Yeah. And he's like, no What am I doing way, wrong? Dude. Well, it'd be funny because Ross would be like, hey, do you think we can do this? I'm like, no. We can't, and it's fine. It's done. We're not doing anything else. Well, yeah, it, it was like, I was like, uh, you know, like the, the financier, and you were like the movie director. And I was like, I was thinking we get Scarlett Johansson for this scene. Like, you're like, no, we can't do that. You're like, do you think we can adjust? I go, it's been exported. No. It's been exported. It's done. We're going we're gonna to roll this out. People are going to like it or they're not. And that's going to be okay. Uh, what's worse, too, is that there was no consistency. Like, I'm pretty sure I gave Brendan, like, the highest score ever. And then, like, the next episode, I tried to organically do it. And somebody was, like, 900 points behind them. And I'd be like, Fuck, I gotta figure out how to throw 400 more points in there somehow. <laughs> gotta find 400 points in the budget. I'm pretty sure. I'm like, 40, a 40 point joke? Might have been 63, actually, now that I'm thinking You're about it. You're belly up in points. Your yeah. fiance <laughs> comes in at 3 in the morning, you're down here editing, smoking a cigarette. She's like, Honey, come to bed. You're like, I gotta fucking figure out a way to squeeze more points out of this. If I don't spend this surplus by next episode. <laughs> Brendan's still using that as a credit, too. It's like, you've seen him on True TV. He scored a billion points on Big Boy Mountain. <laughs> Traded it all in for Chinese finger traps. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the points were uh, a while I still don't, I'll, I'll be honest with you. Not I think you've explained game. the point system right. to me 11 times. Yeah. And it's usually when we were fucked up at an open mic. And I was like, yeah, it sounds cool. And I went home and was like, I still don't understand this no. thing at all. No, it was just something to I be like, it, hey, you guys better come prepared to our podcast yeah. and then you like so what are we doing i'm like this doesn't even work yeah <laughs> yeah last time i came on i had two red bulls on the drive there and i felt pretty bad when i sat down in your guys studio my the studio for us crazy, before <laughs> i was driving there i was like i gotta get ready to go and the studio are yeah. you guys boldly using the term studio or was it actually this is studio? nice this, this is, is fun this no is but nice. the old one was like a corner that people would come into my apartment and be like so where do you guys like record at? I'm like behind this wall. They're like, oh, ah, oh, really? I like that too. I, don't, I must have fucking simple pleasures. I think this and that one were very sick. <laughs> this this one works. I'll simple it, pleasure it sounds like the worst porn category. <laughs> simple pleasure. <laughs> I'm more of a simple pleasure kind of guy. It's not any porn. It's just like a Cadbury <laughs> egg on Easter. <laughs> just the simple things. It's all farmers. What and the bounds. fuck is that doing in there? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm being dead serious. What is that? No one ever talks about it. Why did my dad dribble it down his chest Easter morning and make me lick it off? But um, Maybe I don't want to be your brother. Matt Eagles <laughs> for the offering. Yeah. I think my family should adopt you. We got to correct some things. No, you do. I need help. Your dad's ghost appears. He's like, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, actually, you know what? We're good. <laughs> That's sick. Casper, uh, the friendly dude. Um, I went to, uh, my mom's moving, so I had to go to her, her house and clean out, like, all my old shit from the garage. That's and... another porn category, too. My mom's moving. <laughs> <laughs> what are these boxes in the attic? Hey, it's better than my mom's stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, folks. That's that usually funny. happens during the move. <laughs> Uh, I had to go clean out, like, boxes that were, like, basically, like, evidence of, you like... You to clean out mom boxes? Oh, I've been there. Oh. <laughs> I've watched a Simple Pleasure video or two. Nobody clean out my mom's box, okay? It's exactly how I left it. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> when I was born. <laughs> mom stuck born. Oh, oh, but she's oh. stuck in, like, a bad financial situation. She's stuck, stuck in a loveless <laughs> marriage. <laughs> <She's> <laughs> I'm stuck here in this house because no one will buy it. It's a, it's a seller's market. I can't get it. That's the mom's stuck for. <laughs> She's getting fucked by the lender. I'm trying to get relocated to Florida. It's just the financing is not working out. Yeah, I'm trying to be a fucking snowbird. I can't I'm get sorry, in there. Mom. 
and your father's diabetes. I can't keep up with that. Oh, that is oh something different. God. Holy macaroni. I Sorry. wasn't my cleaning mother. out my mom's box. I cleaned <laughs> my boxes out of my mom's garage. <laughs> and Somehow better. It was like, like, I don't even know why I went through it. I should have just thrown it all in the dumpster because every box was just like evidence of what a loser I was. <laughs> like, I found an honest-to-goodness journal that was slow, that was just it like... It says on it, honest-to-goodness journal. <laughs> no fooling. I'm, I'm gonna keep <laughs> simple <laughs> pleasures. Straight shooting <laughs> journal. It, it, it was literally like if somebody, like, did a Ken Burns documentary from the parking lot of a Modest Mouse concert. Yeah. It, it was just like... Do you remember like, like entry? Entry? Huh? Do you remember yeah, an entry? Yeah, no. I, 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 I'll be honest with you, you workshopped that one on the way over and I did not follow no, that. No, 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 no. no. I, I'm just saying it was like a fucking like modern hipster like like I was writing like war love letters but like to my future self I guess where I was just like it's a tough day when no one understands what you're thinking oh, like, yeah, like you know yeah. what I mean like Matt like, gets it because he's wearing that hat right now <laughs> oh, he's God. like I feel it <laughs> it's squeezing his brain just tight enough I was on your side dick no, 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 no. <laughs> they left you I was enjoying the story no I, I, I meant that like you get it you're, you're whatever yeah. I, I, I like you on my side. I've been I've been I've been hearing all Matt's ablets. He's great, dude. He's like fucking designer on the track. Uh, <laughs> except for that one noise you made. I didn't like that one. Yeah, that was uh, my be uh, on that one. <laughs> but uh, uh, so fucking yeah. No, I literally wrote at one point in the journal where I was just like, uh, but 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 I am a rock. I am a rock. And I was just like, this is going in the dumpster. Yeah. And I'm going through this shit, and the little neighbor kid comes over, but I didn't recognize that he was the little neighbor kid. Is this all still stuff you've written in the in the journal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. This is a poem. Wait, are you not? I didn't know if an Wait, actual neighbor kid came over as you were reading it, and he just beat you up. He's like, "No, what's up, I'm, you fucking nerd." I'm going through a box that's like literally like I'm just like like dying of reading things that I wrote. Like I'm like, this yeah. is so embarrassing. I want to die. And I got legit spooks. This kid pops into my garage. And he's like. Hey, what are you doing? I'm like, who the fuck are you, bud? Are you literally here to bully me already, bro? Are you my looper? <laughs> Dude, no, is this me from the past? Can we get a struggle? No, no. So burn so, the diary. Uh, it, it turns out that the neighbor kid grew up. I've talked about him on the podcast before in a way back episode. Oh. Can't say his name, but he was the milf hunter. And he uh, came over all grown up, dude. And I think he's still out there. This is a kid. He was the like the original guy from Milk Hunter? Is that a real show? Oh, yeah. That was a series uh, of... Oh, never mind. I'm old. Right. No, no, no. That's a real thing. It was a porn uh, series that oh, was like yeah, you know, early Napster days, I think. Yeah, yeah. I saw that in my... Uh, I got really excited. I was like, you met class. the yeah. Milk Hunter? No. <laughs> this kid went around, and, including to my mother, and with her clean box and garage. <laughs> but in <laughs> to her back door. Uh, but, <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> He went up to all the fucking moms and old ass ladies, like some of them not even like hot old lately, all the old ladies, and he would ask them to borrow a stick of butter, and then they would give it to him, and he would pull out his bounty. <laughs> this guy's a physically dominant motherfucker. I like this guy, dude. Matt knew where this was going way too quick. Yeah. I'm still waiting near the rest of it. Matt's like, I know this move. <laughs> this guy goes Are you talking about the butter bandit of 07? The guy goes up and asks for a stick of butter and pulls out his beard. What is there to get? That's very First all, he should not be the one asking for it. He said, do you, he should be like, do you need a stick? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's how the joke works. That's fine. I'll, yeah. stay, I'll stick you with some That's butter. when like, you're like, oh my god, I got gum on my pants. Well, it's actually a piece of balsa. Careful, electric. That's a fun one. No. Is no? there like goofs on your friends? I never had a good looking ball sack that I was like, I think I can show the whole lot. It doesn't have to be good looking. It's look like gum that's yeah. it <laughs> i don't think mine looks like gum mine just looks like gum it's blue you're like winter green Bruce looks like when they put a steak in the blender <laughs> mine looks like something you spit out for sure <laughs> Chris, so my yeah, balls gum. look like gum. Gum. but not gum. that but not that <laughs> No, so this kid, yeah, he definitely needed butter for the to lubricate these ladies. They were very old women. Okay, uh, uh, but uh, he, he showed up, and I like didn't realize who I was talking to at first. And then I was like, like, hey, do you need anything from the kitchen? <laughs> oh no! And he gave me this look, like, like he like bugged his eyes a little bit, and I was like, oh, do you think? I'm asking you for sex. Oh, oh no, dude! Wow. You ask the stick of butter guy if he well, wants something from the kitchen. I, I didn't like. I would have been like, oh, hey, buddy, and like tell him to get the fuck out of my garage. But I was just like, like, what's up, man? You need something? I thought he was a lawn worker or something. He was wearing like a neon shirt and shit. You know what I mean? I was like, do you need like water or anything from the kitchen? And, and he gave me this look, like, like he thought I was like on to him. You know what I mean? Like I was like, hey, you got anything in your basement? I, just, <laughs> I like to think that he's like, nah, I put that behind me. <laughs> I'm actually just here to set your house on fire, dude. <laughs> 
To I all the ladies that said no to me throughout the years. Yeah. Did he? So I don't think I'm fully following this. Did he ever fuck any of the moms in your neighborhood? I don't know for sure. My mom, yeah. when she tells me, when she told me this story about it, it was like she she went up to this person and she called the cop. So you went up to this person and she did this. Uh, and then she'll mention this one lady in the neighborhood and be like, she went up to so and so. Oh, to... Mrs. So and so. <laughs> I'm like, like, wait, wait, did she rebuke him? Like, like, or, or. Did he score? So did this guy actually end up banging some of the moms? You have to think he wouldn't keep doing it if it wasn't working, right? So this guy is Maybe. you, right? <laughs> we can I agree. Can, I can yeah. Okay. Yeah, it turns out it was just a bad mirror. Yeah, <laughs> okay. No, it was bad mirror. Yeah, nah, worse. dude, I fucking, like, totally forgot about the MILF hunter until I was, like, talking to the kid. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, dude. Oh, Jack. Like, I was like, you need me to get anything from the kitchen? And he was like, why do you ask? <laughs> wow. I was like, dude, what a fucking... And so then he, I, I remember the thing. I think he, I think he thought I was trying to accuse him of trying to give my mom a stick of butter. Turns out you're not even that clever. Yeah. <laughs> you just actually were like, can I interest you in some friends? Totally. Yeah. <laughs> we had a, so uh, was there any poetry in these journals? Oh, you seem uh, like a guy that wrote some poetry. Dude, I, I was mad good right? at poetry. I did. I dabbled yeah. myself. Po poetry wasn't sad. even like a journal. I was like a fucking, that was like a book on my coffee table. I was like, oh, did you, did you flip through it? So, <laughs> so you did, you did poetry as well? I wrote Sad Boy, uh, I get, I just got dumped poetry. Mm. Yeah. Ooh. And I, I was definitely too old. Got so you prepared for us today? Dude, it's that? so glad we're not gay. I know it is. I was too busy getting pussy and showing people butter and getting ass from moms, <laughs> dude. I'm the butter boy. <laughs> All along, you know, why I like that story. It was me. My penis was covered in butter and salt burn. <laughs> Jeff, need to remind you that uh, we didn't release it, but I do have an episode where you read the the diss track you wrote oh, to yeah. your friend's ex girlfriends yeah. on his behalf. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, that's just that's that writing. Back. That's yeah, writing. Just, poetry. You don't deserve that. No, dude, I have some sick lines in there. Yeah, dude. time out. Yeah. You you just pal you wrote poetry and then put a fucking beat behind it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, we're talking about one. But there was but there was slander, bro. It was slam poetry. Dude, you were watching a lot of battle, right? You were watching a lot of smack TV that Definitely, week. Dude. Yeah, yeah. You don't know what to If you read, if you read the rap, I think I took it more personally than my friend did. All right, well, right here is where we cut to it, right? You're gonna put that in, right? I don't think it's a good idea. You know, I think it's a great we'll idea. Time editing. We'll see what happens. I was gonna say the one. If I can remember the one line, it was my favorite. I was cracking up about it, where I said. uh Kisses and hugs turn to disses and shrugs. Yes. Good luck and have fun with the abysses and drugs. I mean, bars. Press off bars. Can we hey, agree? Matt. How about us? Yeah, okay. You know, yeah. we're in a deficit. Matt. Matt. Yeah, you, Matt. You have a, your credit score is down by 20 points. Not a chance. Kisses and hugs. If somebody's going to start kissing me and they start with kisses, you know who says that? My grandma on my birthday card. First of all, day, first of all, your grandma's a wonderful lady. <laughs> okay. I don't want, it, I don't want this Also, does she not bring her into this ditch? Her dog died eight years ago. <laughs> Imagine if when the Diddy Meek Mill news came out, if Meek's response was just tweet kisses and hugs. Yeah. <laughs> kisses and hugs. I love pussy. That was I mean, so good. It was so good. So good. That was the worst defense he could have ever had. It's warm had. like butter on popcorn. You're like, I don't think this guy's ever had sex. This feels yeah. like a bag of sand. <laughs> it's him trying to find out what pussy feels like. He's like, yeah, and also, you guys think it feels warm? Let's go on rap. Twitter one by one. <laughs> I hate when the pussy's too hot. Am I right, guys? Temperature wise. Now, this is the part of my diss track where you all explain vaginas to me. <laughs> Please describe in vivid detail. Hey, yo. Oh, doing a song and paying a rapper to come into a feature and being like, I'm thinking your verse like describes how to have sex. <laughs> and you go really slow so I can write it down. Start from pants on. Start right, from there. Let's brainstorm. What do you do with a girl? Kisses? Yeah. But also, <laughs> hugs? I mean, bro. My triple platinum thing. right away. If I see you on like the streets, I... it's kisses and hugs on site, bro. <laughs> it's XOXO <laughs> on site. <laughs> Yo, but imagine your friends going through a breakup or like imagine like you're trying to you know get back together with this dude you're having a rocky relationship with and his best friend's like yo i wrote some songs about <laughs> you actually yeah, yeah no you might want to listen to it that's <laughs> funny. she's now the maid of honor in your wedding <laughs> i was just telling my girlfriend that that girl. is one of the creepiest nice. things along with saying that like you would die for somebody you don't know while they're a kid <laughs> another one is like if you haven't seen somebody that you kind of know in a while you go i literally just wrote a song about you <laughs> <laughs> Because I, I ran into my uh, girlfriend's uh, friend in public, and I just said, "Hey, what's up?" But I kept thinking about the idea. of I was like, "I was literally just writing a song." Did she be like, I just oh, couldn't okay. find a word that rhymed with Samantha, so I stopped. Yeah. But I mean, kisses you're... and hugs. <laughs> <laughs> 
Dobermans and pubs. Yeah, can you hit us with, hit, hit us with it again? I don't, I don't like, I don't like, because uh, honestly, I was going to say that Rusty seems like the guy that would have a lot of issues with your poetry. Like, he'd have a lot of notes for you. Yeah. And then I said my thing, and you guys all got a little, uh, <laughs> I mean, it's critiquing. poetry. It's flowetry, if you ask me. Oh, um, see, oh, see, me and John are actual poets, so we know that, like, <laughs> yeah. what each other's going Dude, forward, all right, I don't remember the exact line, little... but I remember in one, and this is, this will show you how old I was, the, the guy that the girl left me for had a chest plate tattoo so i was like 19 20 years old and i think it was like i always wanted to be in a band or something so i was like well if i write poetry it could just eventually become lyrics i'm gay uh nice. but it was i compared uh i rhymed in his tattoo there was a grenade in the middle and he was a very scrawny guy, but I rhymed uh, grenade and serenade in the poem. Fire. And I should have killed myself then. <laughs> That's the peak of, uh, you know. Should have jumped on a serenade. <laughs> I remember when I wrote it too, I was like, God, this is going to go sick on track four of my emo album that's there coming is, out never. There is a I pun. Some emo friends. There's a pun that we can't do, but serenade and grenade uh, frag out. And then there's a, another pun to do all the time. <laughs> and I'm going to leave off the internet. Listener, comment down below what you think Matt was saying. It's Pikachu. <laughs> Guys, like, comment, subscribe. Leave a comment below what you think Matt was saying. <laughs> Yo, if Matt, Smash if that. If Matt's going to fucking pull me up, dude, I'd love to know the most embarrassing thing you've done for a woman. Oh, dude, when I was uh, in eighth grade, I had a girlfriend that was four years older than me, and our song was uh, Six Feet Under the Stars by All Time Low. And so she asked me to sing it one time, and I sang it into a voicemail to her. And she listened to it, and she was like, oh my god, you got so many of the words wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I for real did not meet me on thing. Did, did you do an acapella? Yeah, just me. Just danced it with, like, my parents were sleeping, so I had to whisper sing. Meet me on things. Mom? No. Mm -hmm. I don't. I'm good. That's, like, the most embarrassing thing I ever did. Probably date an 11th grader. <laughs> Probably go to prom in middle yeah. school. Yeah. Well, I got too much pussy. Was that maybe the most embarrassing thing I've ever done in my life? Yeah, but I sung there, and then she had a kid only years later. Mm. Well, she Next year. Yeah, she had a damn ass kid. I said, no more kids. So, she said, can you babysit, actually? Is that what it's supposed to be? Yeah, sure. I was just writing a song about it. <laughs> yeah, it just, I tried to sing her kid to sleep. She's like, you're getting so many words wrong. <laughs> Dude, meanwhile, she was backstage at an all-time low concert deciding between you and the lead singer. <laughs> She's like, whoever nails my favorite song. Brother, if I get any deliberation me. between me and him, I'm good to go. God, those guys were the hunks of essential. All-time low is uh, Dear Maria, right? That song? That's right. Yeah, okay. I know that oh, one. Oh, Yeah, Dear Maria. Dear Maria. Just a cappella. Oh. <laughs> Dude, you know what? You don't love your significant other if you don't sing church hymns into a voicemail for them. And she Actually, all of us now that have a significant other, let's call them and just yeah, hit them with a quick... Uh, Babe, get down here real quick. <laughs> You said it's podcast time. I know what I said. Just give me. Dude, I sing gospel songs to my girl. Every time she's doing the dishes, I go, waiting in the water. <laughs> okay, Gary What's Sharp. What's your girl? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah, sorry. Sorry, shout out Gary Sharp. That's a great joke. No, sorry. shout back, Gary Sharp. We can take your jokes if we decide. <laughs> I'm actually featuring. That's going to start saying the N word. I'll be featuring <laughs> Gary Sharp at Catch a Rising Star April 4th and 5th. So we have no show on tomorrow night down in uh, Bridgeton, P uh, New Jersey. Just time to plug our boys. Yeah. This is the portion of your guys' podcast where we hype oh, up Gary Sharp. Gary. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, when I went on his podcast, he just never knew that. Uh... He's like, wait, Mace, I think he put the video out the other day. He's like, Mace Windu had a purple lightsaber. I was like, yeah, well, that was his choice, dude. <laughs> that was not a George Lucas decision because that would have been really questionable. That's a good point. One of the most powerful Jedi's in the entire universe and killed so easily, dude. And, and too easily. I'm, I'm not trying. I'm not doing my normal talking shit on the Star Wars thing. I just think it's really funny to like to in an actor's contract negotiate like the stupidest creative control <laughs> yeah. over a movie. Like, oh, like yeah. that's because like the famous like Metallica said Green M and M's only thing, right? Like. That, that, that Metallica famously it was it Ozzy Osbourne, Osbourne and that's just from Wayne's World oh. <laughs> you're, no. you're just quoting a line from Wayne's no, World no there, there's a I'm fucking up the musician then but I, I was really it's Ozzy Osbourne brown M&M's but brown yeah. but it was to, to, to check to make sure they read it's like a quarterback the... <laughs> Ozzy Osbourne brown M&M's brown M&M's <laughs> <laughs> brown M&M's that's a good compromise in what word we can use yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> the M&M &M word uh, no sorry <laughs> What brown M and M's is what you just call black rappers? Oh, <laughs> I thought we were having fun on this. Rather than being M and M created, damn dude, Drake's pretty good. He's kind of like the brown M and M. 
These guys are like, oh, white Jesus. <laughs> Would this be a good time to tell you that we just started recording? No. I swear to God. You're kidding. Lying, I swear dude. to God, dude. Are you serious? I swear to God. I swear to God. Bro. I swear to God. Oh, my God. Why? I I mean, why? I didn't say this will be funny in 30 that minutes. Is, <laughs> that's that's the listeners are about funny. to get the hottest 11-minute episode because Matt and I have to go put that's a screen yeah, yeah, right. right. it out. I swear to God. I fucking swear I clicked it. I literally just thought to myself, this is one of the most comfortable and fun podcasts I've ever been This is one of my favorite episodes. Well, we have a really good phone recording if Rob Cruz could edit the audio for us. Oh. This was legitimately one of the funnest podcasts I've ever seen. This is my life, dude. This yeah, was... I really considered not saying a word of like, I think we just let this ride out. I would have never told us. I would have never, never told us. <laughs> let's recap. What uh, did you think to get up and check? Honestly, I just wanted to see what we were at time wise. <laughs> like, oh, zero? Was that oh, an hour? The cursor's just sitting <laughs> over the record button. I'm like, yeah. I'm, probably should have clicked on it. It's amazing how it's like the I only can. thing you have like to remember. One of the best, best episodes yeah. we've ever done of any yeah. We should actually <laughs> always start our podcast episodes. <laughs> that that was the podcast. best thing we ever did. Well, time to actually record Well, it's, it's good like, because we all admitted some bad things there that fuck. only the phone has now. True. Can yeah. I be honest with you? That's probably our, that was probably our first fuck up on a podcast since we didn't record Sarah Bell visually. It just released an audio recording <laughs> sure. where Rusty put out like a slideshow, with it. <laughs> which, which I moved to unlisted last week. So I just didn't want anyone to find that as the first one. And on this cast, I was thinking. Soon I'll move the Donegan one, the, the, the Brendan and Dan one to unlist it because we fucked up the audio on that. Yeah. Wait, why are we still talking into these? This is done. No, we're, are we going? I got, no, we we just gotta go. Go. Now That's we're recording. Yeah, what time is it? Uh, we can do a quick, this will be a pre- No, no, oh, shit. we're going to fucking, dude. I, what if, the if, Here's the fuck. thing is, even if we try to record something right now, it's going to be like, when you're like, no, I swear I can get it up. I swear, I swear, I'm yeah. fucking done. The universe. This is, a, this is the girlfriend goes to a different school. Episode. I'm cooked. The, uni- the universe said, I know you guys have been trying to get this podcast on the calendar. Fucking not today either. Yeah, yeah. I know this was the fourth Fuck, attempt. Dude. I mean, at the very <laughs> least, that was a lot of fun. Well, out. hopefully, it was a lot of hope. Oh, yeah. you guys are watching this. I really, really hope so. Give it up for fucking John and Matt by going to That Rules. Subscribe to That Rules podcast on hey. YouTube and everything. All right, guys, that's cool. <laughs> Yes. Uh, can we send this to Rob Cruz and go, what do you think you could do with this? <laughs> Audio-wise, what do you think you could do with oh, this? Bobby Cruz. Hey, Bobby. We'll do what we can. Uh, a real bummer, dude. I think it's funny. I feel like I got punched in the dick. <laughs> so, yeah, we are doing the points thing. I actually started with negative 10,000. <laughs> it's a real bummer, uh, but you guys can only go up from here. So, <laughs> well, let's recap. Us, Matt and I no collectively kisses. are 12 plus feet tall. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not funny now. It's not fun. No. Damn. Guys, everyone hang your heads. Ready? One, well, two, three. It is good because I still don't understand the story that you were trying to tell us, Rusty, about some kid in your parents' neighborhood. So, uh, I don't know. Uh, Rusty wants to kill himself. I think and, he just did. Uh, <laughs> Make you to shine. Damn, like dude. What a bummer. Song. Sometimes you click things. Sometimes they don't click. Yeah, well, now you have do. to spit bars again. Cause yeah, true. Ooh, what was that? Right, recording? We just put... Ten minutes of this podcast up with me rapping the rest of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you guys want to send in poetry readings, we'll yeah. just blast that out. How are you, dude? <laughs> Fucking send in your poetry. We'll read it anonymously slash actually attribute it to John Montag. Yeah. Damn. I'm just gonna roll with it. And if we have to censor shit, we'll censor shit. I'll later. handle it. N word, N word. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. You fucked up big. You made my boy's life miserable. I call that shit typical. Blame it on the pinnacle, but your ass still despicable. You the biggest ratchet hoe that I've ever seen. Call it what you want. Maybe I'm being mean. But fuck with my boy and you deal with his crew. Good luck finding someone else Pat can't outdo. Your friends say now you can finally get what you deserve. Unless that's a Mack truck, you're fucking absurd. You hit up his cell. He told you see you in hell. You say no worries, but you're crying. I can't tell. Fuck your cheating ass with some grimy ass dude. Then when he got angry, you get in a mood. You the one who's always attacking, you scumbag Mac and Pat sent your ass packing. Keep your mouth shut and I wouldn't even be rapping. Kisses and hugs Damn, turn dude. to disses and shrugs. Good luck and have fun with the abysses and drugs. Oh my God, did he just say that? What a fucking jerk. Oh, I'm sorry, Mrs. Brandy Busta Perk. You acting like the victim, but you got it backwards. You want a second chance, but you already had a third. I'm sorry, but you have no sympathy for me, especially. I'm defending my brother in the family. We just getting high, then we chuck the roach and all. Stop acting like Pat's getting all emotional. If I hear Pat's name or see it in a status, that'll be the fastest way to bring back the madness. And I think you know better, so you get over. 
So get over that you two will be forever. Bigger, biggest cheater I've seen since Mark McGuire. Call Bars. her Paul Giamatti because you a big fat liar. Ha, I fucking hate sluts, man. That shit is so critical. The hate is so reciprocal. Your love life is under ridicule, abomination, no political. Damn, dude, you fucking busted out your vocab homework Bro, on her, dog. dude. You literally dude. sat there with your <laughs> literature book open, and you were like, fucking, what's the word bank for the test this week? Fuck. Are you kidding me, dude? What? I'm just a junior in high school going, what the fuck did she do? <laughs> just start writing fucking bullshit in, like, geometry. You literally, that sounds like like the classic, like, the teachers teach them Shakespeare through rap thing. Like, you were like... Yeah, this lesson's mad boring. You know what I'm thinking about? Snoring. Betrayal. <laughs> Dude, and not only that, I have zero, I have not a musical ounce in my body. Dude, fucking search your soul for me now because I've never known you to even ever consider doing something like this. What were you emulating? What do you mean? I feel like that didn't come, that didn't bubble up naturally. Like, you fucking, you saw something on TV that was like, fucking, yeah, dude, you help mm. your boy out by dissing her, dude, through through your music. Dude, I, you, I mean, I was like, this is it. I'm about to become famous. <laughs> you did not think that no, was no, any, I didn't. no, no, that's my no, point, dude. But I did think that I was going to record a music video and be hilarious about it. By the way, we can blurt this out, but her last name was Buskirk. That's why I called her Mr. Mrs. Brandy Bustapirk, because she was also a fucking druggie. My favorite part was when uh, uh, my boy, which I don't know if we want to censor out his name or not, but my boy, when uh, he started dating her, I remember he was like, yeah, I, da I date her now. And I was like, her? You hated her last week. And he's like, no. -uh. I was like, you 100% hated that girl two weeks ago. And then she was like, I think you're cute. And he's like, oh. <laughs> like, I was like, dog, I thought you hated her. He's like, well, it was before I knew. I hated that she didn't think I was cute. But now dude, she thinks I'm adorable. That shit is so fucking funny. How bad you, is that, dude? No, dude, because you're like, you're treating it like it's like fucking Chirac gang wars. Yeah. Like, like you're fucking like calling out this fucking rival. That That's what we need, dude, is we need an academics for high school diss tracks. I found the other one. You went back to back on her, dude? I found the other one. Okay. All now, right, this cool. one's not a diss track. This is just a terrible rap. The original one I brought up. This is what I want, dude. This is terrible, and it's much shorter. <laughs> this is so bad. Dude, I'm just like a like the summer between sophomore and junior year. I'm just like a pimple-faced dork. Yeah, that was... I'm, I was trying to picture... Because I've gone through your Facebook pictures yeah. so many times. and you, Probably even before that you could even see pictures. I feel like that was before the, the, the mutant gene activated. Like, that, that was when you were... Uh, before you were the beast. This is so much worse than what I just did, which is just going to put it into perspective how bad this one is. Okay. This is, All right. this is August 3rd, 2012. Your bitch want to take a ride. I ain't charge her for admission. She scream at the top, man. You just got to listen. Ooh. I roll deep and stay loyal to my people. Damn. You can say that I'm shitting. Call me a seagull. And I promise you I'm murdering it, whether or not it be illegal. Check on your girl, because I bet she spread eagle. Living that life crazy, like Charlie Sheen. Like in Major League, I'm the fucking wild thing. When I spit game, you know I close, like I'm Papelbon. Pussy everywhere, and I ain't talking Audubon. Got two girls I can score, don't know who's better. You know I can't choose, so it's time for a double header. Ooh.